Hello. Good morning to all my grade 4 students. Uh, let me tell you, I missed you so much, so very much. So I hope you're staying safe at home and spending a lot of time with your family. So children, as you can see, there are three classes on my table. Okay, so first class is completely filled with green color liquid. So one full class of water. Okay, and second one is only half filled. You can say one by two. You can see half the amount of liquid is there in this class. And here you can see only quarter. You can see the amount. It's only one fourth. Or you can say one by four. Okay. So children, as you, I, I hope that you've already guessed the topic. So today I'm going to teach you about fractions and various types of fractions. I know that we have already learned this in the class, but let me just revise quickly with all of you. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so children, as you know that fraction means a part of a whole. So fraction has two parts. The top one is called the numerator and the bottom part is called the denominator. As you can see in the example, 1 by 4, 1 by 8. Okay, so here numerator is 1 in both the fractions and 4 and 8 are denominators. And the line which you can see in between is called the dividing line or a fraction bar. So children, numerator means number of parts we have and denominator means total number of pa equal parts the whole is divided into okay so children let's start with the various types of fractions number one proper fraction proper fraction is a fraction where numerator is less than the denominator so as shown in the example, 3 by 8 is a proper fraction where 3 is the numerator which is less than the denominator that is number 8. Now the children's second one. Second one is improper fraction. Improper fraction is a fraction where numerator is greater than the denominator. So as you can see 5 by 4 is a proper fraction because 5 is the numerator which is greater than the denominator and that is number 4. Third one, mixed fractions. Mixed fractions, they are also called as mixed number. Mixed fractions, they are the combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. So as seen in the example, uh, 1 is a whole number and 3 by 4 is a proper fraction. So 1, 3 by 4 makes a mixed fraction. Next, like fractions. Like fractions are the fractions that have the same denominators. So as you can see in the example, 3 by 8, 5 by 8 or you can say 7 by 8. These all are the examples of like fractions. Now children, the next one is unlike fractions. Unlike fractions are the fractions that have different denominators. 1 by 5, 3 by 8, 3 by 4 are all unlike fractions because here the denominators are different. Unit fraction. Unit fraction is a fraction where numerator is always 1. So 1 by 8 or 1 by 9 or 1 by 10 all are the examples of unit fractions now the next one equivalent fractions equivalent fractions are the fractions with different numerators and denominators but they have the same value remember children to get equivalent fraction, either we multiply or divide the numerator and denominator by a common number. So as shown in the example, you can see that all three circles, only the half part of the circle has been shaded. Okay, and 1 by 2, 2 by 4 and 4 by 8 all have same values. They are same. Okay, so children, this is called equivalent fractions. I hope you have finished equivalent fractions worksheets which I have already shared with all of you. Now the next one is whole fraction. 
whole fraction is a fraction where numerator and denominator are the same and it is equal to 1. As you can see in the example, we divided one whole pizza into 8 slices out of 8 total. So that's the whole fraction. And now the last type of fraction which I want to discuss today is decimal fractions. Decimal fraction is a fraction where the denominator is a power of 10 or you can also say that it's a multiple of 10 that is 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 etc. So 2 by 10, 9 by 100, 39 by 100 all are the examples of decimal fraction. Okay, so children I hope you understood all the various types of fractions. So for you, homework is you just have to write two examples for each type of fraction in your rough notebook and do share me the pic, okay, through mail. Um, see you, take care, bye-bye.